What is tempo? Uh, tempo is a very Philippine thing. Um, it's not normal for Filipinos to be outward aggressive. Even when people are arguing, it's it's not the same way as the UK, for example, or the America. Um, between a husband and wife, it comes up as well. But basically, a tam tempo is basically when your partner will stop talking to you. It's 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 in line with tantrum, but without actually doing anything. Um, it's not like kicking and screaming. It's more the act of not talking to you for 24 hours and locking the bedroom door. Um, very, very common in the Philippines and even outside the Philippines. Uh, you'll get Filipinos do it within their own communities and, well, even with expat marriages, it goes on quite a lot. Um, the problem you get is if there's a deeper problem that you want to engage with or maybe you don't fully understand what the issue is, the cutting off makes it very difficult to find out what the issue is. Um, this is why I, my, myself I'm always pushing communication, communication, because you need to break that barrier down. Because if it's there, it could be nobody, the person doesn't want to talk to you about it, or it could be that you've done something to offend them but not aware what you did. Um, but by tomorrow, it's all forgotten as if it never even happened. But at the same time, for a bit of, um, what would you say, um, marriage support, you would say, I advise communication. And I know some people get really angry when you try and force them to talk um, when they're having a tamper because I, I hear it from both sides. I hear it from the wife, I hear it from the husband where the husband's going, I don't know what's wrong with my wife, but she won't talk to me, can you try talking to her? And then she'll go, why doesn't he just leave me alone? It leaves me for a few hours, I'll be fine. And I'm just like, okay, what what started all this in the first place? Um, a lot of time it can be very, very trivial, but it's just something to be aware of. It's over within 24 hours um, for most. <laughs> but at the same time, it's worth trying to get the communication going in some way, even if it's with a notebook. Um, so if they don't want to talk to you, say, look, don't talk to me. Write what the problem is in the notebook. I'll read it. We won't talk. I'll write my response in it. And then at least we've got some sort of communication going if we're not talking to each other. <laughs> you know, it's important. It really is important to get past that barrier because there could be something... Um, that you can't see, don't know, etc. But if you keep the communication going in a non-aggressive way and in a non-force way, like a notebook, write it down when you want. If she does it six o'clock in the morning, whatever, and you read it at eight o'clock, and it's out, you know, and it's ten o'clock tonight, and you've got to wait till tomorrow. You have to wait till tomorrow. Give the person time. All right. Thanks for watching.